Welcome back to Smoked Meat with Jeff. And yes, today is gonna to be all about the salmon, specifically steelhead salmon. So first off, I have to give some props to the little bit of footage you saw there at the beginning that I stole from a, a guy named Pump Nose Fishing. So a little bit of underwater footage of some steelhead salmon. So today's recipe, very easy to do. Uh, a lot of people think that salmon is one of the harder, uh, harder meats to smoke on the smoker, which it is actually not. It's fairly, very easy. You just need a couple of real basic supplies. So of course you need some salmon and I've got some steelhead salmon here uh, with the skin on. I find it works better when it has the skin on. If you're gonna smoke one, grab another one, smoke two. And then for, let's see, you're gonna need some brine. So I have some real simple brine right here, which is just a gallon of cold water, one cup of kosher salt, three quarter cups of packed brown sugar, and then whatever flavorings you wanna put into it. I did a little bit of orange juice, just a little bit to give it a little, little citrus flavor. Um, and then as far as non-food ingredients, if you have a Bradley rack, grab it. It makes it so much easier to move things around. You're gonna need some uh, parchment paper and a pair of scissors and then some sort of container to do your brine in. And that's basically it. So let's get into uh, getting this started. It's gonna be going over three basic cycles. You're gonna brine, then you're gonna allow the fish to sit outside of the brine and kind of cure a little bit and dry out a little bit, and then it's going on to the smoker. So let's get started. For the brining process, really all you have to do, take your salmon, put it down in your container, and add your brine. And just make sure the brine covers the entire uh, fish fillet. That's basically it. Oops. That's basically it. And then we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and throw this into the refrigerator for two hours. Uh, at about the one hour mark, I'll get in there and I'll kind of move the fish around to make sure that all the surface gets uh, in contact with the brine. So I'm gonna get this into the refrigerator and we'll, then we'll be back. All right, well, here we are two hours later. Uh, so our fish, our fish fillets have been brining for two hours. I went ahead and I took these out, drained off, uh, drained off the brine, washed these off really well, and now all you gotta do is grab your uh, parchment paper, roll out a sheet, and then lay out your, uh, your fillet. If you can get a hold of it. Uh, So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this out. I'm probably gonna take a little bit of paper towel and just kind of dry it off a little bit. And from here, I'm just gonna take some scissors and I'm gonna trim so I have about three quarters of an inch of parchment paper around the perimeter of my, uh, my um, fillet here put it back into the refrigerator, uh, either on a Bradley rack or on a cookie sheet. And we're just gonna let this sit for about two hours. And what you're waiting for is the surface of the skin to get a little bit tacky. So when you go to touch it, it'll actually stick to your finger a little bit. Um, so at about, uh, it takes about two hours. So at about an hour and a half or so, I will start firing up my smoker and getting that ready to go. So I'm gonna do the next one and get it back in the fridge. All right, now here we are about two hours later. Our fillets have been in the refrigerator for the last two hours, and what we're going for is a little bit of a tackiness. So it'll stick to your finger just a little bit. And once it's uh, at that point, it is ready for the smoker. Now the difference with the smoker is that we're gonna be running it at a much lower temperature than we normally do for red meats and porks and chickens, things like that. Typically you're gonna run your smoker at 250 to 275 degrees. But when you're doing salmon and fish and you're gonna be smoking it, it'll be at a much lower. So I have my smoker set up for 150 degrees. I wanna keep it around 150 to 160 degrees. Uh, and I'm going with a fruit wood today. So I'm smoking with cherry. Fruit wood lends itself really well for smoking of, of salmon. We're gonna put this on and it'll be on the smoker for anywhere between three and four hours. Uh, we're going for an internal target temperature of 145 degrees, and once we're done, once we hit 145 degrees, we're going to pull it off. So, I'm going to go get these on the smoker. All right, so we'll come back and check on that in about an hour or so. 
Okay, we are about two hours in, so let's take a look at what we've got on the smoker so far. We've got about another hour and a half to two hours to go. All right, now as you can see, it's coming along nicely. And we have a little bit of this, uh, this white goo coming up here, and this is a little bit of the fat that's coming out of the fish. You actually want that. That is a good sign that everything is cooking the way it is supposed to. So we are going to let this smoke for about another hour and a half, two hours, until we hit 145 degrees internal temperature. All right, we are at a cook time of about three and a half hours and I reached 145 degrees internal temperature. Take a look at that. It is a beautiful red color, which is what you're looking for. We got a little bit of uh, the white goo here, which is a little bit of the, uh, uh, the fat that cooked out as this was, was working. And because it's skin on, this will be really easy to serve up. You basically slice it up and then it'll actually peel right off the skin like so and you can just serve it up so it's great as is cut up and serve over some rice maybe paired with uh, some asparagus for a vegetable little caprese salad um, uh, unflavored or flavor you can throw your favorite sauce on this in fact at the end of this video I'll pop up a little picture of what the finished product actually looks like but smoked salmon actually pretty damn easy to do it's not as uh, labor intensive as some of the red meats would be you just cook it at a lower temperature for a longer time so uh, this is Jeff with smoked meat with Jeff I hope to see you again next time uh, don't know what my next project will be but we'll get it on the smoker have fun in your backyard entertaining on your barbecue and or smoker I'll see you next time